Hello everyone, Mr. Nizam here, Pensyarah Kimia Awak, signing in from KML. Look what I have here. Can you guess how many eggs I have in this box? 12! Very good! There are 12 eggs in here. Oh well, this word gave it out, right? One dozen. One dozen represents 12 things. In here, I have 24 marbles, which means I have two dozens of marble. So, the word dozen expresses the number of eggs in this box and the number of marble in this container. Now, can you tell me how many sulfur atoms in here? Well, it will be impossible, right? Unlike eggs and marble, sulfur atoms are too small to count. When we talk about particles at molecular level, even 1 gram of substance will contain a huge number of atoms or molecules. For example, one drop of water can contain up 100 and 67 quintillions molecule. There is a lot of molecule, isn't it? This is where the mole concept is widely used. It focuses on the unit known as a mole, which is a count of a large number of particles. Just like dozen, the mole is an amount of unit expressing the number of atoms or molecules in a substance. A mole is defined as the amount of substance that contains as many atoms, molecules, ions, electrons, or any other elementary entities as the number of atoms in 12 grams of carbon-12. How many atoms are there in 12 grams of carbon-12? 12 grams of carbon-12 contains 602 sextillion carbon atoms. Wow! There's a lot of zeros. Well, don't despair. You can write it as 6.02 exponential 23. And this is known as the Avogadro constant. In other words, one mole of sulfur here contains the same number of atoms as they are in 12 grams of carbon-12, which is 602 sextillion sulfur atoms, or 6.02 exponential 23 sulfur atoms. But, please take note that the mass of 6.02 exponential 23 sulfur atoms is not the same as the mass of 6.02 exponential 23 carbon-12 atoms. This means that mass of 1 mole of sulfur is not the same as the mass of 1 mole of carbon-12. Mass of 1 mole of any substance is known as the molar mass. That means the mass for 6.02 exponential 23 sulfur atoms is the molar mass of sulfur and it is equal to the relative atomic mass of sulfur in grams. The relative atomic mass of sulfur is 32. Therefore, the molar mass of sulfur is 32 gram per mole. This also means that in 32 gram of sulfur, there are 6.02 exponential 23 sulfur atoms. The relationship between the number of mole and the molar mass can be written as such. For example, the number of mole for 10 grams of oxygen is mass of oxygen which is 10 grams divided by the molar mass of oxygen which is 32 grams per mole. And therefore, the number of mole for 10 grams of oxygen is 0.3125 mole. You can discuss more examples with your tutor to enhance your understanding. We have learned that Avogadro's number signifies the number of particles in one mole of substances. However, 
Avogadro also states that equal volume of all gases at the same temperature and pressure contain equal number of particles. This means that at the same temperature and pressure, 10 ml of oxygen contains the same number of particles as 10 ml of hydrogen and carbon dioxide. The volume of gas is highly affected by pressure and temperature. When gas is put under high pressure, the particles are forced closer to one another, causes the volume of gas to decrease. When a gas is heated, the molecules move faster and the gas expands, hence the increase in volume. Because of the variation in gas volume due to the change of pressure and temperature, the comparison of gas volume must be done at one standard temperature and pressure. Standard temperature and pressure, STP, is defined as 0 degrees Celsius or 273.15 Kelvin and 1 atmospheric pressure and written as STP. The volume of one mole of gas at STP is called the molar volume. At STP, one mole of any gas occupies a volume of 22.4 liter. Let's look at the comparison here. Sample of oxygen, hydrogen and carbon dioxide are at STP. Each contains one mole of particles or 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 gas molecules. All sample occupies the same volume that is 22.4 liter. However, the mass of each gas is different and corresponds to their molar mass. Take note that there are two standards commonly used in calculations. One is the standard temperature and pressure, STP, which is 0 degree Celsius and 1 atmosphere. Another one is room temperature and pressure, commonly written as RTP, which is 25 degree Celsius and 1 atmosphere. At RTP, one mole of any gas occupies a volume of 24.0 liter. So please read the questions carefully before answering, okay? Multiplying the mole and the molar volume will give you the volume of gas at STP. And dividing the volume with the molar volume gives you the number of mole. Similarly, at RTP, you just need to change the molar volume to 24.0 liter instead of 22.4 liter. Hello, Baya. Oh, hi, Nizam. Hi. What are you discussing here? Oh, I'm discussing about the relationship between mole and molar volume of gas. What are you doing here? I'm here to ask you to go out with me on a lunch date. Will you go out with me? Oh, I'm happy to go out for a lunch date with you. But before that, let me do some conclusion before we go. Okay. Remember that the molar volume is the volume occupied by one mole of gas at a given temperature and pressure. One mole of every gas occupies the same volume at the same temperature and pressure, which means the molar volume of a gas is 22.4 liters at STP and 24.0 liters at RTP. And don't forget what we have discussed before too. One mole of substance 
contain the same number of entities as they are in 12 grams of carbon-12, which is 602 sextillion entities or 6.02 exponential 23 and mass for one mole of substance is known as the molar mass equivalent to the relative mass of the substance in gram well that's all from us don't forget to like subscribe and share bye, bye.